What is up, everyone? This is Sword King 090, and this is going to be Operation Blackout episode 14, the 14th episode of the Operation Blackout series, a series where we're going to be encasing the entire world in obsidian blocks to block out the sun. So, what is new? What is new? What is new? Is that I decided to keep this microphone because I actually enjoy it very, very much. It's just there's a lot of things I still got to get used to, especially when it comes to the mono recording off of the Scarlet, Focus Right Scarlet, however you want to call it. And then, of course, that I instinctively try to turn off my mic every once in a while because with the blue yay there's an on and off switch but i am still thinking of getting another microphone just in case which will still be an xlr type of microphone and if i want to take that on the go then i'll be able to do so not too sure just yet either i'm probably gonna go for the sure 58 or i'll probably just go with the good old audio technica atx 2035 however you want to go by it i just gotta look at my options right now so that's gonna be an optional thing well maybe i'll actually get the other microphone the other like the sure sm58 because that's gonna be a handheld microphone i can put it on a microphone stand and it's still gonna be a little bit of a cardioid microphone that i can have my friend who's gonna probably be sitting next to me that he could actually have his voice recorded while i have my voice recorded and then we could put that down for a let's play not too sure or at least if i want to go with the cheaper option then i could just go with the blue yeti or even just use the other cardioid microphone that would be even better than the blue yeti overall i'm not too sure i'm still looking into things that i could use the 2035 for the let's play recordings and then of course or dual let's plays and then for like solo and live streams i could easily use the sure sm7b microphone but that's all it is. That's all I'm thinking about. But one of the things I am going to be purchasing soon, or it's going to arrive by the time this video is up, that I'm going to go get myself the Samsung 10 inch, you know, that little tablet right there, like whatever that is. I don't know what it's actually called. I just think it's just a Samsung tablet type A, something like that. But I'm going to go get a tablet and I'm going to be using that for schoolwork and stars barking in the background. But either way, I'm going to use that for schoolwork and as well as for mobile gaming. So hopefully that will actually work out because there are like there's a little bit of adapters or something like that. And I think the one I already got right now that I used for my phone, I'll be able to use that for the tablet. And if it works for the tablet, then I'm already set to go. And then I could actually make some mobile gaming videos off of the tablet. It'll be easier for me. I believe the resolution of the screen will be a larger for the recording. And then overall, the quality will be a little bit better. So I just cannot wait to do that. Then I'll be able to have more options for different types of games. And I know one of them may be, I'm not going to guarantee it, but people keep suggesting that I try Pocket Edition, Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm not too sure about that because I already got a lot of series going on with the Xbox, of course. So I would like to try something different. Probably play some games that nobody has ever heard of or play some addicting games. And then the goal of it is just to complete it. Not try to get 100%, but just to complete it. And then, of course, with the live streams, that's even more options for me to do if on a mold like do a little bit of mobile live streaming so that could be an option and more videos for you guys more content and just change things up a bit because i know i've been stuck on the minecraft for quite a while but i've been trying to do a little bit of let's plays here and there but at least with the days and weeks that are coming up i've been getting a lot more school work and as well as that i've been getting some more work and i do not mind working because it's actually decent right now the minimum wage went up so it's actually pretty decent to go throughout the hours of the day i still go in my days off nevertheless if they ask you for help so that's even extra pay and especially when it's gonna buy even more equipment and more stuff and including paying the bills because i got a lot of bills stacked up right now so that's gonna be a thing with all the new equipment and, and the school and the things like that because school on its own cost me 700 dollars for the classes and for the books and then, of course, then you have the gas money and food expenses, but that's just a different story. But either way, it's going to be expensive. I got to save up a bit, but at least with a tablet, I would say it is pretty much like 85% free because I still had the gift cards. I was refunded and I used the uh, money from the gift cards to actually buy the tablet. So it's pretty much nearly free. I'm very happy about that. I'm very, very happy about that. I'm just hoping that it actually works because I've been reading the reviews saying that it sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that's pretty much with every single tablet and every single technology out there. So you gotta hope that things are for the best. It had a 4.5 star reviews and all that other stuff. So I'm guessing that overall it's gonna help out a lot. 
And if it does, then I'm very, very happy about that. At least I'll be able to take my notes off of the tablet instead of writing them down because I, I'm fast, I'm faster than, uh, on typing than I am and actually writing down notes. Just as long as they don't ask, ask us to turn that in, then that'll be a different story. May I actually connect it to the printer? That'll be another thing. That would be kind of cool too. But either way, just with the tablet, I'm going to see if I could do some more mobile gaming, live streams, and things like that. And if it all works out, then hooray, I'll be able to get more content for you guys. And perhaps maybe mobile is actually the way to go for some of the games. Because apparently you can't really play it on a PC. That's the only thing I don't get about mobile games. Unless there's something I don't know of. But why is it that they can't make a PC version of the mobile game? You can get it online. So what's the difference? Oh yeah, just the screen screen taps and things like that. If you were to buy a touchscreen computer, are you able to play mobile games on a touchscreen computer? That would be kind of interesting. That is something that they need to look into, unless it's already done and I'm just being an idiot again. But that's nothing new. I'm always an idiot when it comes to these things. I learn as I go along and I'm just stepping into territory that I have no idea what's going on and I have no idea what's happening. And hopefully I can just get through it. It was the same thing with my microphone and the equipment and now it's going to be the same thing with mobile. And I know that people are going to say, why not just get a gaming mobile tablet or mobile gaming tablet? But I just didn't really want to do that. I just want to have everything that's pretty much versatile, especially with, of course, the Samsung brand, which is actually very decent. So if that works, then hooray. If not, then that would be kind of awkward. So in any case, I'm just taking risks. I'm just taking chances and hopefully it all just pays out and just I'll be able to play some games and as well as I'm going to be able to make more videos with that and with that, if I can even speak correctly. At times, I try to combine two words unknowingly until it actually just comes out and then it just doesn't make sense whatsoever. English is not my best suit. I will tell you that for a fact. But on that, I'm looking into probably buying another microphone if one of my friends is very, very serious about making Let's Plays. So I'll buy the microphone, he could use it, and then we'll just have a Let's Play together. Again, if I can't really go with the, another microphone, then I could easily use a Blue Yeti or at least upgrade to a brand new microphone that's going to be more like more area type of deal, which will be better quality than the Blue Yeti. And then of course, it's gonna be that we'll be able to play games. I'll give him the headset, I'll have my own headset. He'll be able to hear the gameplay. I'll be able to hear the gameplay from the computer since the Elgato HD60 Pro is pretty much like seamless in the recording that anything that happens on the screen also happens in the game. There's no delay like the other like hardware, the outside hardware. So that's all good options options and more options i'm very serious about making content i'm very serious about doing the less plays and doing the live streams so it's what pretty much keeps me sane because that's what i love to do i just love to make the videos i just love to just play video games just as long as it's hope hopefully it's better than minecraft at some point because you know minecraft it needs to be a little bit changed. Like, I need to change different contents for this channel so that it's not going to be the same thing over and over and over again. Hence, that's why I'm doing the Let's Play live streams. And I do appreciate every single one of you who stops on by for the Let's Play live streams. So, that all it is is that I'm making different content. You'll be able to watch and then you'll be able to chat with everybody in the live stream. So, it's just there to hang out and relax and just watch me fail at video games because I'm not that good at video games. What can I say? And usually during Operation Bedrock and Operation Blackout, it is just a summary of what we have done, what we need to do, and then of course I use this as a way for me to talk to you guys. And with the live streams in Operation Blackout and Operation Bedrock, you get to see the behind the scenes for those live streams. Like, you get to see how much work we are doing, and as well as that for... Uh, like next episode or the previous episode the next episode then you see the change and how much progress we have done and i won't lie right now is that operation blackout is going a bit slow due to the fact that i've been getting more hours during the first half of the week than i do with the second half of the week first half second half i guess that's correct grammar but yeah i've been getting more and more things to do on the first week or first half of the week than i do with the second half and i usually divide it in three days for operation bedrock and three days for operation blackout so i try my best i try my best to do a lot of work and sometimes is that i need to do a lot of catch up and at least for our future live streams in Operation Blackout, I'll have enough obsidian to work with the ocean. 
I believe I have enough obsidian to outline the ocean to where that's going to be like the first half of, uh, no, not even the first half, maybe like 15% or 10%. I don't know exactly of how many blocks it would take to outline the ocean. So we've already gathered that it's going to be 1,450,000 blocks, give or take of obsidian to complete the whole entire project as its own. So whatever we have then that'll be a thing maybe it'll actually take 20,000 blocks which 20,000 divided into 1.45 million i would not even know what the percentage is there and i don't want to say it right here right now because otherwise that would just seem like a small number so i'm just going to be optimistic and hopefully that's going to be at least five percent hopefully so let's go let's go ahead and go back home because it's been a while since I've actually gone back home. I don't know what it is, but I think that in the end, it just I don't know. It, I think it kind of gives me a headache, a small little headache. I don't know if you guys feel it too, but I kind of feel it when it comes to just staying in the end for a little bit too long. So I'm just going to continue on forward. And apparently this was a silverfish. I thought this was a zombie spawner, but this is a silverfish. Oh, well, nothing to do about that. So. It is what it is. And if only we could actually gather the spawners using a Silk Touch pickaxe. Wouldn't that be great? That'd be very, very awesome just to carry that around with you. Will that be a future update? I have no idea. But in any case, it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> that It's a little bit of a long way of home. But overall, I'm just happy that this Xbox One, Xbox One World, Xbox World One, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't even know how to talk that this world has pretty much everything that we need we have the animals we have the good biomes we have the skeleton skeleton horses i love them i love them so much and as well as that it's going to be fixed in sometime soon some of the little bugs that have been happening unless this video actually comes out after the bug fixes then it's just putting the foot in my mouth at this point any case that there's going to be a lot of other things that's going to be fixed and added on to the game. And I really hope that it's all going to be good for us. And chances are, I probably will already have most of the achievements able to be unlocked in Operation Bedrock. Because we have a lot. We have a lot of things we could have do or we could have done and we could do. I got all my Xbox 360 achievements off of Operation Bedrock because of all the things I have. The only thing I need to do is actually enter the end, which I've already done. Kill the Ender Dragon, which I still need to do on the Xbox 360. But I've already done that on the Xbox One. But still... I don't know what other updates or any other achievements I still need to get. I still need to get seven more achievements. Let me look at them real quick. So let's go ahead and look at the achievements right there. As of this point, I need rainbow collection. Get 16 colors of wool. Then on the rail, I need to go travel 500 meters in a single direction with a minecart, which I could totally do. Then we have when pigs fly, which I'm surprised I still haven't gotten yet. And I believe I could get this in Operation... Yeah, I think I could get this in Operation Bedrock easily. Then I got to throw diamonds to another player. I'm surprised I've not even gotten that yet. I thought I did. That's weird. I could have sworn I already gotten this one. Either that or they didn't collect the diamonds. Or I think I just gave them diamond tools. Okay, I got to throw diamonds at Steve. Then music to my ears. Play a music disc in a jukebox, which I could totally do. Bodyguard, create an iron golem, which we can do in this world. Yeah, we could do that here. And then Lion Tamer, which we need to get a load of Ocelot. I don't even know we have a jungle here. I don't even think we have a jungle here. I don't think so. I don't think we have a jungle. I need to actually make a new world for a jungle. Anyways, let's move on. Yeah, no, we don't have a jungle here. I remember. We have swamp. We have a forest. We have... Well, we have, like, the mountains, like, in the background. We have a tundra. We have a mushroom biome. I call it mushroom, even though it's my ceiling, but it's, you know, dubbed mushroom. Savannah's right there. A small little savannah, no less. We have the Great Plains, but we still don't have an actual jungle. And we don't even have an ocean monument on top of that. So, that is it. That is all, really. That is all. So, let's move on forward. Let's move on forward. The video is almost over. So, I do talk a lot when it comes to these things. Because pretty much that's what a commentary is, no matter what, anyways. So... We're going to go over to here. We have good old one chest. Well, two, three, four, five, six. And then that's not seven. 
Okay, so pretty much we... Oh, there are six right there. Okay, completely six. And then there should be half at least. So let's go ahead and just add all this up. Okay, nearly seven or six and a half chests. Nearly six and a half chests worth of obsidian. We still got the last two mining towers or the obsidian towers to mine up. And then afterwards, then we'll set down the obsidian blocks on live stream. And then we're going to go ahead and kill the ender dragon on live stream if we finish this first. So that's going to be a thing. But overall, is that we have a lot of progress to do. And hopefully that I'll be able to get more work done during the school weeks and as well as work weeks. So either that I'm at school or I'm at work. And the wolfie is angry at the sheep. The wolfie wants the sheep. But sadly the wolfie can't get the sheep because the wolfie's in the boat. But we're going to leave the wolfie there because that just looks so adorable in a, in a, like, a menacing way. You know that the it's 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 the it's the texture pack. If it would have been the like the original, like the classic, then you'll see the red eyes, which just still looks adorable. It doesn't really look that menacing. This one looks more menacing because it's a little bit more detailed, anyways. But yeah, stars barking in the background again. She'll calm down soon. But there's nothing else that I can add. So in the comment section below, let me know what you thought about this episode. So until then, that is it. We just have a lot more work to do. And also, I'd like to say that follow me up on Twitter for any new updates and things like that. Also, I would like to say right here and also repeat this in like... I believe Operation Bedrock, that I'm going to try to get 1,000 followers on Google+. Plus. So if by chance you actually still have a Google Plus account, feel free to follow me up on Google+. Plus. I want to get to 1,000 followers. I'm only 125 away. So in the description, there's going to be a link to my Google Plus account. Go ahead and click on that and then go ahead and follow me on Google+. Plus and see if I can get to 1,000 followers. Let's just hope that works. I got 1,000 followers on Twitter. Let's try to get that on Google+. Plus. But until then, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, then please subscribe for more videos, content, and live streams. But until then, I am Sword Kings Ryan Zero. Have a great day, everyone. And I want to say thank you to Steve and as well as Hero SMO for helping out with this week. And until then, I will see you guys again in the next video. I'm gonna throw my numbers away. Now I feel I'm done. And I'm cursed by every day. Till my time is gone. I've never felt this way before. And now I know this all for sure. I won't forget your last betray. I'll never forget this day.